quick update on my latest refurb which is turning this property from a three bed into a five bedroom student house with all en suites. So you can see the guys have improvised that getting a skip is a bit of a pain in this property because you have to put it on the road, you need a permit, they collect it within a week. So we unfortunately have to make use of the front garden. Canal. The first thing that you get when you walk in this property is the smell. I don't know what they're doing. They must be doing something with the drain, but there is a fucking horrible smell in this property. But in here, you can see the all important drains that I've been talking about for the last few videos start to go in. And this is where we gun up the floor, we bring our waste down from the ensuite upstairs that we've put in, and we come down and we go through and we connect on to the two toilets in these ensuites as well as the waste for the shower. These are the smallest en suites we've ever done and the trays are only 700 by 700. Normally we go for 800, but we've had to make a little bit more compromise on the bathrooms to make the rooms that little bit more bigger. You see now the guys have lifted all the carpet up, the old original floor, this would have been put down these tiles when it was built back in the 50s. That smell, I don't know what it is. What do you think it is down? It's like chemicals, it's isn't it? Chemicals, it's not yeah. drains, it's not drains. It's not so you can see that not a lot has changed through here. But as you come through, you can see the guys have gone straight out with the drain. So instead of coming across, which we've done historically in the other projects to get on the external wall because they're semis, because this is a mid terrace, they've gone straight out to connect onto the drain through the rear. You can see how deep they've gone. They've probably gone about 350, 400, no, with 450, mill down into the ground which is great this space has been boarded out ready for the fridge freezer because it's under the stairs they've had to fire line that part of the boarding of the ceiling just to comply with the builder rigs and we can see some of the basic pipe work and electrics coming in ready for our kitchen and the electrician has already been in and put his cables in ready for the spotlights one of the issues we had in this project which i've been having to sort out is getting this meter upgraded and moved. We needed to upgrade to 100 out to sort of account for all of the electric showers and all of the other electric points that you increase when you have five ensuite bedrooms in this space. But we can't get it upgraded beyond 80 amps because the tails need upgraded. So we had to get out the supplier to upgrade the tails and actually move the meter up or down so we can hide it within a cover space. Where it is at the moment, it's gonna land basically where the worktop is, so it's not gonna work. So they're coming out next week to move that, and then once they've upgraded the towels, we'll get UK Power Network back out to upgrade it again to 100 amps. And that doesn't cost anything. That's all included in their service. I don't know if that smell is going or I'm getting used to it. I think we're just getting used to it, mate. <laughs> So you can see from the other side where we've come from where the ensuite is upstairs. Now remember, I said that's the awkward bad sister of these projects. Where do you take the waste? But we've found within this layout, it's great to come through what was effectively this old void for the gas pipe for the old back boiler. And that soil stack works in really well and it's great for everyone to see because we haven't obviously finished it, it's all exposed. 